Hello friends. Today on my viewers request I have prepared this interesting episode on the 10 golden rules and tips and hacks for successful cloning of a plant stem cuttings in water. You will learn the nitrogen draining concept and the oxygenation concept for successful rooting. Plus you will also learn what nutrients to feed or how to fertilize your fresh stem cutting. All that's coming up. If you are interested in gardening, please subscribe with the bell icon clicked to receive notifications on my new uploads. This method of cloning plant cuttings in water is an age-old practice. If you want to increase the success rate of growing plants in water or rooting your cuttings in water, you need to follow certain simple tips. The most important advantage of this, whether the cuttings are grown in soil or water or even by air layering, you get an identical copy of your parent plant that is also called as the stock plant. But this is not the case with seed grown plants which differ significantly from their parent plants. Please watch all the steps and tips till the end to achieve a great result and have fun with your gardening hobby. Also some scientific concepts especially tip number 4 and tip number 8 like the nitrogen draining concept and the oxygenation concept may be completely new and really interesting to most of us. Also, some of these tips are common when you are propagating cuttings in soil. With these simple tips and scientific concepts, you can achieve a great success rate of nearly 100%. Tip number one is taking healthy cuttings. Yes, this is the first and foremost job which is most important to achieve a good success rate. Take a cutting from a healthy mother plant which is free of pest and free of disease and has good active growing branches. Choose semi-woody cuttings, not hard woody or too soft ones which can easily rot. Then tip number two is making a sharp cut at 45 degree angle. A sharp cut with a sharp cutting tool or a blade is an important factor for success. Preferably sterilize the cutter with some disinfectant like uh, hydrogen peroxide or even any household antiseptic like Dettol. Cut about half an inch below a node. This is the area where rooting starts and which has to be inserted into water or your rooting solution. Then tip number 3 is on the length of the cuttings. This is generally 6 to 10 inches or at least 2 or 3 nodes above the rooting node. The length depends on the internode distance of a branch. Remember one rule of thumb. The success rate of cloning is inversely proportional to the internode distance. That means the lesser the internode distance, the greater the chances of success. Then tip number 4 is draining out nitrogen from a branch. As you all know, nitrogen slows down rooting process. Pouring a lot of water on the plant or the branch which is to be cut is believed to drain out nitrogen. Do this and then take your cuttings from the plant. I don't know how this happens but if you know about the concept, please let us know in the comment box below the video. Then tip number 5 is do not fertilize your parent plant. Applying the same concept of nitrogen drain out, better not to feed the plant at least 15 days prior to taking your cuttings. Then tip number 6 is important, preparing the rooting solution. You can just use plain clean soft water, better avoid salty water or chlorinated water to increase your chances of success. The second option is to add some ingredients into this water which serve two functions. Firstly, they prevent contamination and rot and secondly, helps accelerate the actual rooting process. This can be accomplished with many options like the rooting hormone powder containing the indole butyric acid or the naphthalene acetic acid. Just add half a teaspoon of this rooting powder into the container or the glass holding the cutting and mix it well. Add this every time you change the water till the rooting starts. Then second option is you can add a quarter or a half a tablet of aspirin or willow water. Aspirin which is chemically acetyl salicylic acid serves both functions including rooting. You can watch my detailed video on this aspirin from a top link at top right corner of this video. Then third option is you can use fresh aloe vera gel extracted from aloe leaf which also contains salicylic acid and other ingredients which help prevent rot and even accelerate rooting. Then tip number 7 is use clean containers and change water or your rooting solution every 2-3 to three days. Take clean containers, preferably transparent ones, so that you can actually see through the root development process. 
then tip number eight is oxygenating the tissues yes this is another important tip for successful rooting lift the cutting out of the water once daily and stir the water well at least once to oxygenate it scientists have proved that plants need dissolved oxygen to survive and the cutting will consume all the dissolved oxygen in the immediate vicinity of its rooting zone so water needs to be stirred in order to maintain healthy root formation this in fact is the basics of aeroponics and hydroponics which we'll try to discuss in detail in some other episode and tip number 9 is submerge the cutting into water or your rooting solution at least 2 inches above the lowermost node that is the rooting area keep it undisturbed preferably on a window sill to receive indirect light and also optionally suspend the cutting into a container through a plug like a piece of foam or even a cloth also it is a good idea to cover it with a polythene bag intermittently especially in a night time if it's too cool this is to provide the optimum temperature and humidity levels for rooting now the question is what do i feed them giving nutrients would be pointless until root development has started because the cuttings cannot absorb any mineral content once the rooting starts you can feed with very dilute solutions of water soluble npk or even very dilute compost tea but one hack to counter stress or the shock to these little cuttings is the use of vitamin b1 that is thymine into the rooting solution this is thought to help alleviate any stress like how we use epsom salt solution to water the plants uh, to counter the transplant shock this effect of vitamin b1 is actually derived from researches based on tissue culture media but i'm not sure of this and the mechanism of action and the molecular concepts behind this well the tip number 10 is transplanting into the soil once you see multiple roots at least 4 to 5 roots of at least about an inch you can carefully transplant these into your potting mix so there you have it folks please click a thumbs up if you found this video helpful 